Hello everybody, my name is Vinay Jacob John. Please visit my two websites jesusheedsministries.org and also prayintongues.org. Today we are going to read about the Apostle Paul preaching to the people at Ephesus, the Ephesians. In the book of Acts, in the New Testament of the Holy Bible, the, books, the book of Acts chapter 20, verse 17, and from Miletus Paul sent to Ephesus and called the elders of the church at Ephesus, verse 18, and when they were come to him, Paul said unto them, Ye know from the first day that I came into Asia, after what manner I have been with you at all seasons. Verse 19, Serving the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth with all humility of mind and with many tears and temptations. Verse 20, And how I have kept back nothing that was profitable unto you, but have showed you and have taught you publicly and from house to house. Verse 21, testifying both to the Jews and also to the Greeks, repentance toward God and faith toward our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. 22, and now behold I go bound in the Spirit unto Jerusalem, not knowing the things that shall befall me there. 23, save that the Holy Spirit witnesses in all people in every city, saying that bonds and afflictions abide me. 24. But none of these things move me, neither count out I my life dear unto myself, so that I might finish my course with joy and the ministry which I have received from the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, to testify the gospel of the grace of our Lord God Jehovah Jesus Holy Spirit. 25. And now behold, I know that ye all, among whom I have gone preaching the kingdom of God Jehovah Jesus Holy Spirit, shall see my face no more. 26. Wherefore I take you to record this day that I am pure from the blood of all men. 27. For I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of our living God Jehovah Jesus Holy Spirit. 28. Take heed therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock of the people of Jesus here on this planet earth. Over the people, the flock, the people, the Holy Spirit has made us overseers to feed the Church of God. The Church of God, Jesus, is Jesus' own body. We are Jesus' flesh, Jesus' bones, Jesus' body. Jesus has purchased us all with Jesus' own blood on the cross when Jesus was beaten and in the tomb and in hell below. But on the third day and on the third night, the glory and the love of our Lord God Jehovah rose Jesus from hell and the tomb and the cross and we shall live forevermore because anyone in Jesus Christ of Nazareth is a new creation. The old man and the old sins have passed away. Behold, we all are new creations in Jesus Christ of Nazareth and we are the body here in planet earth and in heaven above also, the body of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Verse 31, Therefore watch and remember that the space, that by the space of three years I cease not to warn every one night and day with tears. 32, And now, brethren, I commend you to our living God, Jehovah, Jesus, Holy Spirit, and to the word of Jesus' grace, which is able to build us up to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and to give us an inheritance among all of us which are sanctified by the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Sanctified means set apart as holy by the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Without spot, without wrinkle or any such thing, Jesus is waiting for Jesus' wife to be made perfect and then Jesus shall come. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world to all people here on this planet earth and then shall Jesus come for us all to take us back to heaven and we shall be and we shall ever be with our Lord Jesus Christ, Jehovah the Holy Spirit forevermore. Verse 33, I have coveted no man's silver or gold or clothes. 34, yea, ye yourselves know that these hands are ministered unto my necessities and to them that were with me. 35, I have showed you all things how that 
So they bring you are to support the weak and to remember the words of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, how Jesus said, more blessed to give than to receive. It is more blessed to give than to receive in your name, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. 36. And when he had thus spoken, he kneeled down and prayed with them all, and prayed with them all. 37. And they all wept so and fell on Paul's neck and kissed Paul. 38. Sorrowing most of all for the words which he spake, that they should see Paul's face no more. And they accompanied Apostle Paul, Father Paul, and to the ship, St. Paul. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you everybody for listening to me today. Please visit my friend's website, my friend and partner in the Gospel of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Jesse Duplantis Ministries, www.jdm.org and also Christians United for Israel, www.cufi.org. Also please visit my two websites, jesusheelsministries.org and also pray in tongues.org and also my spiritual father, Pastor Michael Paul Burgess's church here in Bangalore City, Karnataka, India, www.gracechapel.org.in. Jesus loves us all, Jesus heals us all, Jesus provides for us all, always, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Amen.